Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the TuneBase FM, which is a Bluetooth FM uh, transmitter and uh, car unit to transfer your music from your phone or your audio from your phone to your car hi-fi car stereo using Bluetooth. Um, it's wireless obviously because it's using Bluetooth and it also comes with a nifty steering wheel attachment so attach a remote control and another remote control so you can control the whole thing plus hands-free call um, call incoming calls and outgoing calls and stuff like that through um, the remote so it's it's quite a, a dinky thing it supports an sd card um, you can slot an sd card in the top and uh, therefore you can take your podcasts or whatever it is in the morning plug them into this and then uh, plug them into your phone and then broadcast them across your your car stereo as you're driving to work or whatever as you can see it has a fairly standard plug cigar or power socket connector um, buttons for forward and back um, again hands-free buttons on the side here on the top you can see you can see that SD card slot um, and uh, I'm not sure what that is I'll have a look at that later and tell you when we go and actually demo it um, and this is the remote control which goes on to the steering wheel. So you can do EQ and you can track forward and fast. Um, you can do volume up and down as you expect. Telephone, hang up and accept and power on and off. In the box itself, we see the little dinky remote control. Oops, lots of clattering going on. A uh, little uh, remote control. I'm not quite sure why that you would have that as well as the steering wheel thing. Maybe if you don't want to put the steering wheel on there. Oh, this must be a, a manual. I uh, get it now. So um, a line in or line out one of the two to give you extra uh, flexibility on the unit. And as well as the remote, you get two little um, guides on how to connect up the remote, so it'll use a manual for you there, plus a very tiny, and when I say tiny, I mean it's very tiny, user guide, um, which is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's written in very small fonts. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so that's the basics of it. Um, we'll just have to plug it up and see how it works. Uh, they say the, the, the features you get with are things like um, echo cancellation, noise suppression, and you get things like, uh, oops, it says storage and stuff. I'm not really sure what that means, but anyway, we'll have a go when we put it into the car. Okay, so the first thing you do is you plug it into the cigarette lighter or whatever it is, and you sync it up to your uh, hi-fi, your, your stereo system. I've got my little old trash, trashy old radio here. 88.2, 88.2. So as I thought, all you really do is you switch on your Bluetooth, say search for devices, and up comes BT car kit. Paired. And that's it, you're done. So now it's just down to playing your sounds. Whoops. <laughs> Find out. There you go. That's now going through the stereo system. It's as easy as that. It's like a 10 second job, really. Can't get much easier than that. So let's see, uh, let's attach the remote control on the steering wheel and see if that works as well. It's actually a two stage process. So you stick this bit to the steering wheel with the Velcro and tighten it up, and then you slot this into it this way it runs with a battery a little watch battery in the back there okay i found it's a little bit strange to you have to, it's a little bit hit or miss with some of these buttons sometimes like the volume control press and hold for volume up and down so press and hold for volume up press and hold for volume down sometimes it's a bit tricky because it doubles up that switch with the track swap so if you press it just quickly it just changes tracks so and then again you get to uh, volume up and down. Let's see if the remote control works. The sad thing is I've not been able to get the uh, steering wheel infrared remote control working. This unit, uh, you know, the unit itself works great. You know, if I just press that, that's paused. Um, but the remote control, the infrared remote control doesn't seem to want to work on the steering wheel. I don't know why it could be a broken sample here for a review sample. I don't know this bit, but everything else seems to work. Let's see if we can get the uh, this little remote control working shall we um you should be able to press that yeah it's great so this remote control seems to work fine if i let me move forward a track yep yep so 
it's all uh, it's all cool. Yeah. Pause. Oops, you can't see that sort of play. Pause. So one remote control works, the other one doesn't. And I say, as I say, I'm not sure whether that's a, a, a just a, a hardware glitch rather than the actual structure of it, but I couldn't get it to go at all. And of course, this little uh, cable is for aux in, so you can plug in any MP3 player or anything external, which is not a Bluetooth enabled uh, device into the top here, into the headphone socket, or the, this socket here, which looks like a headphone socket. And you've got yourself a incoming audio signal. Let's test the hands-free. So I've got the music playing now. I'm just going to do a little quick dial out, see what happens. Yep, so that looks pretty good. At the third stroke, the time oh, brought there you go. Will be so that's, uh, yep, that's working and it, music should come up yep and it comes up when it finishes so the bits and pieces work uh on the actual unit itself and i suppose with that uh, little remote control you know it'll be okay there you go the tune fm so yeah <laughs> it works it works although the accessories one of the accessories doesn't so uh, as i say that could be just a, a fault in my demo unit if you enjoyed this video please like it and share it and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool reviews thanks very much Oh,